You all voted. It's all about my makeup, red and eyes. Here we go. So today is not a tutorial. It's more or less the items that I have continuously returned to and I have tried everything and I'm always trying new things that come out. If you're anything like me, I'm always trying. But these are my ride and dies and I cannot wait to share them with you. So here we go. Rose water. So right now I have clean skin. That's it. And I am 44. I need a little more hydration or if my skin just feels a little dry, I just spray that all over and it just gives a nice foundation. A nice clean foundation for the rest of the goodness. I already have applied this. You must have Aquaphor also. I apply this day and night and especially at the start of my makeup routine before I put on any lip products or anything. It just juices up your lips a little bit. Okay, the Tatcha Serum Stick. This is from my celebrity makeup artist, friend slash who I did Vogue Italia with and everything else, she's amazing. Amy Clark, you can find her on Instagram, the Amy Clark. The Tatcha Serum Stick, I love this. This has been a game changer as I, at my age, am starting to really get under eye um, lines more than ever. And this gives me a little forgiveness and gives me that little extra hydration so that a lot of product doesn't settle under there. This, another Tatcha product, the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I love this. I used to only use it to finish off my makeup and I'll show you what it's gonna do right now. But now I also apply it prior to my makeup, especially for spring and summer. I find that in fall and winter, I like more of a matte foundation or in general. This gives you a luminescence. It doesn't give you a glow, like a bronze glow. This just gives you a luminescence. No matter what, I start my makeup routine with this. Now, my sister-in-laws, I have four sister-in-laws, they, Whenever they compliment me about my skin, I'm telling you, it's this. I'm serious, among other things, but it really plays a huge part. So I'm gonna actually put this here because we're gonna end our routine with this. And I will put all of this information in the comments so you will have it all. And if you have any suggestions also, send them over. All right, so let's just get right to foundation. So I have melasma, um, it's just a, a hyperpigmentation disorder. It's really sensitive. I have to stay away from heat, sun, and everything. And actually, I've been doing a treatment, so it's a little better, um, but you can kind of see uh, I get it everywhere. So I really need coverage. I really need coverage. And the two that I have liked and have come back to is the Fenty and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I really think this could apply to anyone, even if they don't need a lot of coverage. And the reason is, is there's still a translucency that I really love and it's buildable. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty and I'm also going to give you a little tip for application. I don't know if I came up with this, but it's probably I learned it on set from all the amazing makeup artists I've worked with. So I always put my foundation product on my hand, no matter what, and I'll tell you why. Inevitably, if you put your foundation just on your face, you're gonna end up using more product than you actually, actually need. And you're going to see right here. So I have one squirt. I love this brush. This is the It Brushes for Ulta. I like this because it gives me a little more coverage on my skin, and I need that. I need that with my melasma, and I can just build it. And this brush is great because it does give you that coverage, and as you can see, I'm just gently brushing it on right here where I need a little more. I might press it into my skin. And don't forget to bring it down onto your neck. Okay, so I have not even used half of what I have so far. And let me go to the other side of my face. So the Fenty has been really lovely. The Giorgio Armani, the Luminous, seems to be a little bit of a lighter formula, if you like a lighter formula, but still like the coverage. I seem to kind of use the Fenty a little more. Um, I'm not sure why I gravitate it, but I really love them. And I've tried everything. I mean, I mean honestly, from it to drugstore brands, I have tried them all. Okay, so as you can see, just gives a nice clean, 
If you are wanting even a lighter coverage, this is a time to use your Beauty Blender with your foundations. Make sure it's very well hydrated and you can press it into your skin and you can get into all those beautiful places. I used the brush today, but this is really beautiful also. Again, hydrated, especially for the season. You really just want translucency. You want your skin to shine through for spring, summer. So I am done with my foundation and look at the product that's still on my hand. Wipe it off. Imagine if I had used all that, that would have settled all into the creases around your eyes. You just would have had a cakier look and it wouldn't have been good. Concealer, I have tried every concealer on the market because of the melasma. Okay, so I come back to my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. This is probably already in everybody's arsenal. And then right now, my absolute favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape. I tend to like this one because the formula is a little lighter. So again, I would highly recommend putting your concealer on your hand so you can, again, control the product that's going onto your face. You do not want it to be cakey. Um, and I like to use a brush. You can use your finger. I'll probably end up using my finger to just really blend it in. So one thing about makeup as I'm applying this, I am a girl that does not like to spend a lot of time on my makeup. But one thing you cannot skimp out on is blending. Blending is really, really important. And if you do not do a quality of blending, you're gonna have a look that just looks a little sloppy and a little unfinished to everybody else's eye. And so just take that little extra time and blend it in. You, you will thank me. So there you go. Extra product being wiped off and I'm 44 years old. If I had used all that product, it would have really settled in here as the day would have gone. I mean, I have smile lines because I'm always a smiley person. If I had used all that product, it would have been really, really scary. If I could have put a beep in there, I would. All right, let's go to bronzing and contouring. Again, another favorite, I'm sure everybody has this, the Hula Bronzer. I love it and I love to apply it. This is one of my favorite brushes. I'm only gonna announce the brushes that I really, really love. I've had this forever. It's the Sephora Pro Precision Powder 59. Now, I just like to apply this. I almost use this more than even blush, quite honestly. Uh, I just like to give a little definition and bronzing right there along right under your cheekbone. Really take the time to blend. And then along the perimeter of your face. And it just adds a little warmth, which for someone like me who stays out of the sun, we need this. And even if you go into the sun, it just gives you a little extra color. That's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, yeah, don't forget all this goodness. All right, now for contouring. I have my favorite. I'm not the biggest contour girl, but this is what I love. So my Smashbox step-by-step -step contour sticks, you can see I have two colors. I tend to use the darker one if I go out for an event, an evening event, and I just wanna be a little more, a little more dramatic. But for every day, and I don't even use this every day, but if I was to do it, uh, this is the Smashbox contour stick in bronze. Now, I am not a professional makeup artist, but I will show you what I do. And again, I take notes on set, girls and boys without a doubt. I love this. Oh, can't forget. I can't forget my broadening Polish Serbian mutt nose. Okay. So with this, this again is all about blending and blending doesn't have to take a lot of time. It's just about being mindful with it and just making it look natural. So you can see it's really glowing around my skin. It's actually brightening up the rest of my face. And I wanna point out, see that little bit of translucency under the foundation? This is actually from the Tatcha. It's so lovely. I really, really love it. So let me go back to blending. So I like a real subtle contour. So if you want more drama or more contour, definitely go for that darker stick. And that darker one is the Smashbox. It is uh, called Contour. All right, there we go. There we go. You can also add along your jawline. I didn't do it now, but you can add around and be really careful blending that. And I have hairs all over me. 
Blush, I do not have a favorite blush, but if I'm going to be using anything, I seem to be going to my NARS Portofino. So if I haven't found a blush that I really, really love right now, the one that seems to always just, I kind of go back to is the NARS Orgasm. Everybody has that NARS Orgasm, it's a good one. I'm really wanting to bring in more peach and coral tones this spring and summer. So I'm on the lookout. So if anyone has one that you really like, send it over. So as you can see, this Portofino, just a little blush, adds just such a nice, beautiful, little flirty cheek. Love it. Okay. Okay, in regards to highlighter, the Pat McGrath, it's a dual, it has a highlighter and a balm. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So as you can see here, it has a little, a little shimmer there, it's subtle. And then if you really wanna get dramatic, you can see I've used this, it's a full on gloss and it's really cool and I've even used it on my eyelid and everything. But I am going, for the sake of this, I'm just going to add a little on my cheekbone, on my eyelid. You can kind of add, I don't know, I, I'd, I'm pretty careful. I don't go crazy with this because I find, and I could be wrong, I find that it adds um, a little age to my skin. So I'm really careful and mindful with highlighter. It kind of um, accentuates wrinkles and it's a conversation that no one's having for people my age. Oh my God. Okay, so I just do a little on the nose above the lip. And look how fresh it all looks. It's just really, really pretty. So my sister-in-laws think that I've had work done on my face. I swear it's just these few things that I've used. I have had Botox and thank you coronavirus. My face is falling to the ground right now.